There are seven segments in the National Cotton Council and American Cotton Producers represents all cotton producers in America. Any farm policy to do with cotton generally originates out of the American cotton producers. We have a pretty full agenda. We have new farm bill coming hopefully next year. The current farm bill is set to expire. So there's there's been quite a few discussions through our farm policy task force. We've already been meeting through the American cotton producers farm policy task force. I've been meeting kind of getting a framework for where we want to move forward and, and the policy we would like to see for cotton acres. The classing office the last few years, uh, the labor short shortages across the country have, have definitely hit, hit the USDA cotton classing offices. We've had issues really last year. It was, it was very tough. Getting the cotton bales classed was a big holdup, being able for farmers to receive their money. We're going to have the, the deputy USDA of the AMS cotton program and anything within the industry we can do to help. There'll be a review on the, the EPA and different chemicals and chemistries. There's some stuff going on through the EPA with the auxins, dicamba, and the 2,4-D technologies. So that's a big issue. We're actually having a speaker come in to speak on domestic labor and H2As. Labor shortage is, is absolutely affecting farmers and in the rural areas. So H2As on, on certain areas have become a big part of farming and ginning and, and anything to do with agriculture. So that's a topic we're going to cover.